Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, January 27th, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We have our new FOMC key levels after yesterday's FOMC statement and the rate decision to keep rates unchanged. You can see right here, 44.12 half is the newly minted FOMC key level. Right away, price went offered. And what we're seeing right now is a failed new low below two-day lows, a nice box developed below the previous session's low, and we started to see price push back above that point here uh, around the London Open, now pushing back to the previous session's midpoint. That's going to be the key level to watch here. Keep an eye here on 43.70 and a quarter. If price can push through that level, it opens up the upper half of the previous session's range in addition to a retest of the FOMC key level below. Failure to get through this midpoint would suggest that bears maintain control overall. And despite this major drop here, we could still see a decent bounce, uh, but any bounce could still be seen as a selling opportunity as we head into next month's trading as a lower value relationship is developing right now uh, with the pivot range. So. While we may see a, a short-term bounce here again, we could continue to see a bit of weakness and perhaps challenge recent lows at least one more time before we start to see uh, a broader rotation back to the upside. If we take a look here at the NQ, you'll notice here with the NQ, similar price action here, price push, pushing below two-day lows and seeing a rejection. Again, uh, a strong move here. Uh, in the pre-market trade and now approaching the previous session's midpoint. That's going to be the key level to watch. If price can push through that level again, you have your newly minted FOMC key level above, which is 14.478 half. Right here, that pink or magenta line is 14.487 half, basically. That's the previous year's midpoint. So a very important FOMC key level, the January 26th level. Overall, if uh, price cannot push through this mid here today, we may see another round of weakness. Additionally, even if we were to bounce here, you can see a lower value relationship month over month. We'll likely see another round of early selling pressure to begin February unless proven otherwise. So right now, still very, very weak. We are uh, tremendously oversold in the near term, but not in the long term. We, there could still be more pullback to be withstood here, perhaps even as low as the previous year's low price. That's not too far off now. That's 12207. Our recent lows are 13700. Uh, that, that's a mere 1500 points here, and we just moved that uh, very, very quickly in a mere matter of days last week. So, again, uh, there is much more that could be seen ahead, and this key level. The previous year's midpoint and that FOMC are going to be very important moving forward. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. You'll see right here in crude oil, uh, this one remains very, very bullish, about as bullish as it gets here uh, among the commodities, a very bullish bounce off the Pima trigger zone. You can continue to see how strong it's been after this rejection rotation after rotation after rotation of strength here we recently got our new FOMC key level up here 8722 and taking a bid again this market's hot right now we have reached our 50 percent extension so here's our key range high here's our key range low and you take that range right there 50 percent of that range puts you into the 8763 target we reached it yesterday and are above it now and the next upside target to reach here is the 9603 target. Uh, based off of this price action here, again, theoretically speaking, price could drop as deep as 79 here and still be an opportunity to buy it and reach that 96. So right now, this market is approaching that 96 target, uh, and any pullback continues to be a buying opportunity until proven otherwise. All right, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Similar price action to the ES and the NQ here. You can see after the recent sell-off here, a buy signal 
you got a digestive day here, a bit of a failed high yesterday, but still in the range today, failed low and still in the range and holding above the midpoint of the rejection day low. Uh, the tendency here would be for day three today or four after rejection to continue higher, start to push through 3800 and move higher. This pivot high right there gives us a great pivot to push through and open up prices back above 40k. The problem is if it doesn't begin to get going to the upside, all the stops below these three days here get run and you see another situation like this where you have one huge dump day and now that gets taken out. So that means this is the most important level on the chart right now. Today's low basically and into the rejection day midpoint. Today's low is 35.5 basically, 35.45. The midpoint back here is 35 to 28, so basically 35 to 2 to 35 5. That zone is going to be very important. A failure to hold this area could open up a major stop run day, but if it continues to hold, there is a shot to push through that pivot and open up some prices above 40k up ahead. Same thing at uh, in Ether. Very similar price action here in Ether. You can see again big time continuation to the downside this rotation may not be done uh, you see values here top of values here the bottom of values here and it got just shy of that level on the low so one more rotation a failure through that midpoint of the rejection day could open up one more drop and that could provide one last opportunity here to get in cheap ahead of what could be a return to value down the road um, overall the midpoint here, most important, today's low, similar circumstances here to Bitcoin. The midpoint is 23.54 half. Today's low is 23.53. Basically, if this thing can't hold 23.50, it opens up a major sell-off ahead. Holding this zone, again, you have this strong pivot top. You have this midpoint. If it can push through that mid, it opens up the potential to make a move back toward 3K. So, at least in the short term. Right now, Keep an eye on that midpoint as that is the most important level. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.